Hello everyone and welcome to State of the Realm, your hey, there's a patch coming so we can make shows again podcast. This week we're going to be talking about the preliminary patch notes for patch 6.1. And that's it. You know, quick show, no problem, in and out, 15 minutes, done. Totally. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Mr. Happy, and of course joining me is <laughs> Sly, who uh, I gave him a special message before the show, but after he introduces himself, I feel like I have to repeat the message. So... You know, I'll wait like 15 minutes so demonetization doesn't kick in. But, you know, how you doing, Sly? I'm okay. You're okay? I'm okay. I know what the mess- yeah, I know what the message is. We already talked about it. Yeah. There's no need. No, but there's I can no bring it up again. It's Listen, there's somebody okay. who's very particularly okay. waited for it and, and requested that it be a part of the show. Not a part of the show, though. Why? Well, no, that was the request. It was the message, but mm-hmm. it was also a direct request that the message be a part of the actual main show. She even yesterday reminded me again, said not pre-show, not post-show, in the show. But we'll get to that later. Yeah. I'm sure it'll come up naturally and not forced in any way. Mm, Yeah. 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 Well, Sly, Mm -hmm. before we get started, Mm -hmm. sponsor read, and then we're good. Yeah. Got patch patch notes to talk about. Oh, yeah. yeah. Content. Yeah. Content. Content. Respect. Yeah, speaking of content, there's something in the patch notes that's going to get wildly used out of context, but for good reasons. Anyway, <laughs> before we get started, thank you to Steel Series for sponsoring the show. Uh, they do monthly giveaways. I need to set one up for this one. I The last one expired like two days after the show started, so I need to set a new one up for this show. I need to pull the winners for that. But uh, thank you to them for providing giveaways month after month for the show. And on top of that, I'm going to do this. This this is a non-paid for sponsor read, but I feel like I'm going to do it anyway because I can. Because mm-hmm. I guess we post this on my channel. So, you know, it's like I've, I've earned the right to do this. Uh, Factor. They are a meal. They, they do chef prepared meals. They ship them right to your house. And then you heat them up in like two minutes in the microwave. They're actually a subsidiary of HelloFresh, but they cook the food for you instead of asking you to do the cooking. So if you're looking for some easy meal prep, exclamation mark factor in the Twitch chat or check the YouTube description as well. Uh, Get a little bit of kickback from that. So since I have that 120 off deal for nine more days, figure I push it, you know. You know, show, you know, just drink a little, you know, just, just, you know. Yeah. 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 All that. All that. Yeah, all, all that. that. All, all that. that. Yeah, the dinero. All that. Why not, right? I got the power to shout it out. Yeah. And one last thing, uh, shout out to our sponsors on Patreon for supporting. Because you're mm. cool. Because you do it because you want to. And you don't have to, but you do it. And as Sly likes to say, we love you. We do love you. We do love you. All right, Sly. Pass notes. Mm-hmm. Preliminaries. Prelims. Yes. Sly, can I be honest with you about something about these prelims? What's up? I have never missed job changes being in, in patch notes in, in such a long time than I do right now. Because I was just I just <laughs> want the, the salt levels in, of the ocean to rise rapidly. <sighs> what? Is that your is that your kink? That, it, that what it, you know what though? Like it is now. It wasn't always. But like seeing people have like weird or bad takes on things is is definitely like rising in my in my that's interest. A, that's an everyday thing. Though. Yeah, I know. But why why deny an opportunity? You know, that's how I feel at the very least. I mean, I want to see the changes also, so you know, I know how generally strong they are. Or, you know what the oh, what mm. the grants because they said that everything we saw in the live letter was not everything they were doing. They were just highlighting right. a couple of points, you know, per per job. So, so the morning of the morning of before the patch even hits Monday, uh, those yeah, yeah, we'll 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 get we'll get we'll get a high sodium high sodium levels. Yeah, and I am I am all here for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even bad takes. I'm not even looking for bad takes. I'm just looking at the heat. Or as uh, my friend B says, I'm looking for people to catch the smoke. <laughs> trying to catch that smoke. That's that's it. That's all they're trying to do. Uh, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. these prelim notes, there is no smoke to be caught. So no. uh, 
Unfortunately, that means that as we do with most of our prelim note shows, we have only the basics and the quality of life and the content that is not even coming out this patch to talk about. <laughs> Which is, um, yep. uh, like we've, we've mentioned a in lot. previous shows, yeah, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that is not in patch 6.1 that is mentioned briefly at the top of the notes. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me scroll all the way back up because I'm actually scrolled like halfway down. Um, we have, Jesus, I saw it scroll up more. Dragon Song Surprise Ultimate, April 26th. I don't think, any, I don't know why anyone would even need that in the patch notes. Like, you know what's happening. That's like it. What else are they right. going to tell you? Um, right. Custom Delivery Client with Emelions, the Arcus Adara Tribal Quest, Hildebrand Adventures, 6.15, and Data Center Travel for 6.18. That doesn't even mention Omega and Tataru because they don't have confirmed dates yet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> So there's like all of, in here. all of the, I mean, let's be honest. Like most of these things are like one or two hour endeavors. Yeah, but still like we, we, we touted this patch as a patch with like a bunch of side story content and we don't have it now. <laughs> we don't get it at the start. <laughs> like, yeah, this is a big meaty patch. Spread out over no, eight not. weeks. <laughs> I know, right? No, it's not. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to all this stuff, and I think that'll help with um, the wait for 6.2 to at least have these topics pop up. It also means that our show can be a little oh, yeah. spread out on some of these topics, which mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, pretty grateful for. Yeah. So, uh, and one thing is that we still do get the roll quests. That's the big thing that we're starting yeah. with side quest wise. And, uh, I'm I'm very excited. I'm actually doing the last one. I was working on it right before this. I saved Caster. Which one? For last. Ah, that is Ishgard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Caster was my last one. Because I kind of forgot, like, holy shit, I forgot to do, um, finish the melee. And I was like, wait, I didn't do the Caster one? So I did Caster last. Yeah. Caster was, was interesting. It has been. I'll say that. I'll, um... Still not my favorite. Actually, my favorite probably is the uh, healer one. The the healer one's my favorite. That's all amigo with Fordola and them. Mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. one was really good for. No, 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 no. Healer, healer was uh, Doma. Range was no, no, no. Ranged is Doma because I just did range today. Was it? yes. Wait, wait, wait. I just did it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm thinking because I was I was thinking of what's his face Gosetsu doing the heels. Yeah, Gosetsu yeah. being own own Miyoji mage, basically. Um, you know, I'm amazed. Nobody spoiled that for me in the last four months that Gosetsu was in those quests. I don't yeah. know how I avoided that, but I was I was very pleased. When I got there. Yeah, same. Same. <laughs> that was an absolute treat. So I've uh, that was I think that's probably my favorite one. Although I actually really enjoyed the tank one. I enjoyed the solidarity of Gridania. Yeah. Melee has been like the middle for me. Like melee I was I didn't enjoy Me too much. Melee wasn't that hype. Melee that wasn't that hype, honestly. No. And I wanted it to be I mean, for, more a, for a lore. Yeah, for lore reasons, I think it is like there's a little bit there, which like I'm always interested in the um, the lore of the pirates and the League of Lost Bastards and everything like that. But it yeah, it wasn't there for me. Yeah, Healer was like a really good story, but the blasphemy was way more sidelined than the rest. It was like it was like yeah. you do five levels of quests and then they're like, hey, we found the blasphemy. <laughs> Let's go beat it finally. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, melee was like that too. Melee, at least you fight it twice. You do get the first escape scene mm -hmm. and then you have to fight it again. I like the ones where you encounter it more than one time. <laughs> right. Uh, but that being said, um, the actual story of the healer one was, was quite nice. And I definitely enjoyed it more yeah. than melee. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's where I'm at with the roll quest, and that will be present, so that's not something we're going to have to wait for. A um, couple other notes, though, in regards to those side quests, since they aren't in the patch notes, cover them real quick. Um, the description mm -hmm. of Omegas on the special site says that 
it's only the beginning. And I'm wondering if that's just fancy PR speak to, and that this is still just one quest or if this is actually more than one patch worth of quests for Omega. Right. Because um, Hildebrand we know is more than one. Tataru we know is more than one. Yeah. What about Omega? Mm -hmm. So if it is more than one, I will gladly welcome it. Because I was in my head saying it was only one and that was good enough for me. Mm -hmm. But if this is going to be more than one, that's <laughs> I'm all I am down for as many side stories as they want to tell, especially given the raid series, both the eight and 24, man. I, I love when they keep these things uh, updated more frequently. I, you know me. I wanted even with near, which I didn't you know, I didn't like. I said I wanted them to do the thing where they actually continue the story in between the patches where there's actually raids. And um, I'm hoping for that with myths, but I was, I, again, I kind of wish it was also happening with Pandemonium to some, some degree. I think it just, for your hot, it just kind of, like, <laughs> I'm going to say it fell on deaf ears, but it was just like, we were just sour from your hot to begin with. So getting that little bit in between, it's like, okay, that's it. God, that was so. Hey, the 15 minutes of dwarf <laughs> quests in point four, until you right. rem it reminded you it was a Yorha quest. Those 15 minutes were pretty good. So I'm um, actually, I'm actually hopeful for myths in, in regards to that because it's it's something we actually give a damn about, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't. I, I don't like now. I don't mind it for myths. As biased that, as that sounds. That's fine. No, it sounds... It's, I don't think anyone cares about bias in this case. <laughs> um, MSQ, they don't really give us any details about ever. And the patch notes mm -hmm. finally scrolling down. It is fun to see, though, that um, they flipped the script with, the, with the, the quest names. What is normally the name of the last quest, which would be the same as the patch, is now the name of the first quest. Mm. I like the little detail given uh, the start of a new adventure. So that's that's the only thing to pull away from the MSQ. Well, I say yeah. that, but it is actually not the only thing to pull away from the MSQ section. Because um, when you scroll down to myths, it does require a main scenario quest before you can start myths of the realm, a new main scenario quest in 6.1. Which I had actually mm -hmm. missed the first time around. Um, I'm assuming that's just the quest with Tataru in the Rising Stones. Yeah. I assume that's yeah. a, a conduit for a lot of this stuff. But either way, we get to see our boy Rambrose again. It would have been insulting if Rambrose wasn't back with Graha being involved. Right. My boy. My boy. We need to we're getting uh we're getting uh what's it called back together? Uh Noah back together. The Noah crew. Yep. Uh the role quests, like I said, is being added, just requires all the different role quests. We got our boy Fauchenal here. Can't wait to see. I, I looked back at the trailer and it looks like we actually play as Fauchenal. In the in one aspect of the trailer, it's hard to tell when they do oh, the camera role work. play. Yeah, it's like a role play thing. Um, it's hard to tell because of the way they sometimes do the camera angles um, in the trailers. They, they, it's well, more suggestive. Was he, was he a sage? Yeah, he's a sage in that role play. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we also see Nero in the trailer, so I'm glad to see him. Some <laughs> glad to see one of the Garleans we actually know for fucking one for fuck's sake getting involved. In Garlemald. Livia's like, yeah, I'm here, little, but... Eh, I mean, Livia. Little Livia. Nero's pizza delivery. Yeah, we gotta get a little... I, I want to know where that comes from so bad. <laughs> I hope it's from this. I really hope it is. Or from Omega. Uh, New Game Plus stuff being added. Nothing too major there. Mm -hmm. uh, main scenario quest with a Realm Reborn being revised. They actually go into way bigger detail on that later. Um, a lot of changes to a Realm Reborn. A lot more than I think we anticipated. Uh, when playing as a different character in instance quest battle, you can actually modify your hot bars now. So, you know, whenever you are role playing, another reason why I think the Fauchenal quest might actually be the case. Uh, portraits being implemented for battle dialogue for 5.x. So that's like the This is Thancred battle portrait. Yeah. So I wonder if any we get any revised memes now that we have the portrait to go along with what they're saying. Yeah. That is uh, a deep hope of mine. Uh, leave quests getting adjusted. Congratulations. You know, I right? guess. Yeah, I mean, that's okay for crafters sure. and gatherers because they actually still have leave quests. And it's if you are a low level doing them, I guess it's fine too. Yeah. 
But, uh, you know, so fishing, some quality of life there. Cool. Yeah, cool. New bicolor gemstone items. Cool. The problem is, will nice. they do that for the rest of the expansion, or are they going to abandon it again like Shadowbringers after the first major patch? <laughs> Only time will tell. Treasure hunt. New animation for the map for deciphering. What a weird thing to now decide that we need. <laughs> I, I guess. Sure. I, mean, it's a, I, I just care about the rewards. I just care about the rewards. That's it. Now, do you care yeah. about it for for the club or because of the money that comes from there being new items? Yes. Okay, got it. Well, I mean, we know what the item, <laughs> what the what the clothes look like, and I don't think anyone's showing up to the club in those things. Oh no, no, God no! <laughs> but I mean, get it's, turned it's, away at the door. It's money. <laughs> it's money. It's money. <laughs> uh, Grand Company has some new symbols being added. New, you know, the gingerbread houses. Oh, are being I added. see. Yeah, I see the frog head. I see the frog head. Listen, yeah. I didn't. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to need that slime. My my adventure plate portrait will do all of the work for me. <laughs> <laughs> of course it will. I'm literally you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make the portrait I'm gonna take the mask I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees so it's just filling the thing like this or even better I could do it upside down like this it's gotta be it's gotta be the frog it's gotta be there we go Sly why can't you just um, let me live my life huh live your life however you want however you see fit uh, new craftable items added to the company workshop. That is the ugliest house I've ever seen. The ugliest gingerbread house, but it's so sweet. I mean, if that's your thing, I mean, if I'm hungry, wise, go for it. You know, that's why I always found gingerbread houses to be fucking stupid. I was like, why would I make a house when I could just eat everything? I did too. It just gets stale and goes to waste. What the fuck am I wasting my time here? I just make this out of wood and then mm -hmm. it'll stay and I'll have this amazing creation. Right. So I'm going to eat this person's house to teach them a damn lesson. I wonder what food buff that comes with. <laughs> um, new areas that added to uh, some aquatic voyages. You know, every time. I Every time. You don't do them at all, do you? They make a lot of money. No, 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 no. We have somebody in, in the FC. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's money. That's just straight up cash flow. That's not to be underestimated. If you have, you have a house and access to a workshop and you are not doing subaquatic voyages, you need to do some subaquatic voyages because that's just millions that you're wasting. Yep. We got our, we got our uh, FC chest filled with the stuff from it. So. Yep. Speaking of FC... And chest and house. Empyrean. I mean, I did say I wanted salt levels, but you know what? It's not going to be day one salt levels is the problem. Right. Bro. I think it's three days until the first set of houses is officially confirmed. Three or four days. I cannot wait to see my Twitter recommended the day that the housing lotteries first go up and people either get or don't get their houses. <laughs> Again, I actually just want to go there and just watch the chaos. Have somebody try to like tell me, like send me a tell or or um try to trade me. I'm like, dude, I'm not getting that. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm not getting the house. Don't don't bother trading me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see the names of people or at least the initials of people who had tried to like sign up for the house. So you can see how many, because mm -hmm. then what I would do is I'd go around to every house and I'd like copy down the list and then I'd go back and check to see who won. I don't know why that seems like a fascinating thing to me. Oceanian, uh, Oceanian. Yep. I always want to say Oceanic, not Oceanian. Oceanian data centers also will finally have housing and they get, to, oh my mm -hmm. God, this, there's going to be a lot of houses available there because there's not. I don't, there's, it's not the, quite the same environment yet. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be the it's not going to be the same for for them. Like, like yeah, it'll be fine. There won't be a lot of salt, <laughs> low sodium. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Uh, it's, 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 I never assume there's low sodium. I just assume that there is less sodium. 
There's a difference between less and low. Like, I'd take a sip of this coffee, mm, and have less coffee. But if I was almost out, I'd be low on it. That's some solid reasoning. Yep. Damn right it is. Uh, the rest of this stuff is all stuff they've kind of gone over. They they even didn't waste yeah. any any space in here. They're just like, please go read the other post. I mean, we're not we're not showing you again. Just please, please use the lodestone and fucking read our posts. And the rest of the stuff is from the live letters. Um, some new furnishing items that weren't shown in the live letters, but other yeah. than that, nothing too fancy. New orchestrian rolls, new aquarium fish, new paintings, new seeds for flower pots. And they do that every patch. Um, yeah. Gold Saucer is where our uh, near mount, the little uh, pod, will come from, apparently. Yep. Um, I'm betting 250k is the cost. Yeah. Yeah, it seems reasonable. I, I have that. Yeah. yeah. I'll be fine. It just doesn't make sense. Like, it's, I mean, the I guess the hanging animation takes some work, but they've already done the hanging animation for every class and ever, or for every uh, race, so it's just about programming it into this. So, I can't imagine mm -hmm. just paying more than 250k for that little shit can that's carrying us. <laughs> That's what he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, new cards added to Triple Triad, of course. I still haven't caught up. Uh, I need opponents. to stay caught up with Triple Triad. I don't want to have to do what I did I last don't, expansion. I don't. I don't really <laughs> keep up with it. Like, but the weird. mount from last no. time. What if they do it again? Yeah. Yeah. Um, update to Rockar character um, customization. So Rockar hairstyles, aka Panic at the Ronzo. <laughs> I hate that so much. Yeah. And while uh, male and female Vera get it, it is, of course, still locked to your actual character creator or your retainer's character creator. So it does still require a Fantasia to change these. And I doubt that's going to change anytime soon, even when they update all the settings. Maybe one day in the future they'll be separated, but for now, <laughs> gotta buy a Fantasia if you want to change your hair. Yay. Yep. Uh, new hairstyle options for um, Viera, male and female. Mm hmm. <laughs> now he surgically <laughs> remove your ears. <laughs> oh man, yeah, not for the not for the male female hair, but for the Hrothgar, absolutely. Some of those hairstyles, just like yeah, you don't have ears anymore. We couldn't be bothered. <laughs> uh, then you got the duty support system. We went over this in pretty big detail before. Just you know, trust systems yep. for all the Realm Reborn stuff before, as well as you know, Shadowbringers and Endwalker, as they've already been existing. With uh, adventurers who are so fucking eager, they are quite eager, really eager. It's uh, it's incredible how eager they are to to get out onto the onto the battlefield. Um, scenario mode Again. being changed, yeah, all that, and then you know it's yeah. just explaining how the trust system works and and just explaining yeah. that it's been renamed. Yep, uh, onion codex added. I can't wait to see what this actually looks like past the picture of Tataru. It's just literally all we've seen of it at this point. I think we there is a version on the press site and on the special site that has two more entries. And that's it. I want to see this thing fill up. Oh, my dishwasher is going off. Let me turn that off or it's going to beep the whole damn show. <laughs> oh, let's see. Sorry. Dishwasher. All right. Toad Man has turned off his dishwasher. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm actually looking forward to it. I still, I can't stand that it's a 6.1. They At some point in the future, it needs to be made not a 6.1 unlock. I, I think it's just silly to make it a 6.1 unlock. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Um, but moving on to Wondrous Tales, it starts by being a relatively normal Wondrous Tales update for a patch note. You know, oh, you know, we've changed the rewards around and everything. But now um, mm -hmm. they're going to change it so that, I guess with so many objectives in the game, they want to change the uh, like raid categories for certain things, specifically the eight-man raid categories, and make it so you have a choice, mm -hmm. a, a bigger choice of what to do. So now instead of giving you specific turns, it just gives you a specific raid. So binding coil, second coil, final I'm coil. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I am too. I'm a fan of that because there have been many weeks where like I look at it and I'm like, okay, and I do the wrong turn. I'm like, fuck. I mean, it's, it's it's like a quick thing <laughs> because it's like, like I do it fucking unsynced anyway. So it doesn't really fucking matter. But like, 
I'll do like the wrong turn or like the wrong version of it. So I'll like end up like doing savage. Like you just need to do normal. Oh, fuck. There are just some um, that are also not as good to solo. So like if you could yeah. choose an alternative to do one that's easier to solo, then um, um generally Susano. Like, like well, you're not going to be able to Susano. not take Susano. I mean, this is just the eight man raids that are listed here. Oh yeah, eight man raids, but like Susano is like an example of one like you can just solo. Like you couldn't solo. Um, usually the other the other um, trials they have are pretty soloable. Susano's the like one probably one of the only ones because there's that mid midway point and you can't like you can't really do anything about it. So it's the same as Sukiyomi. Kind of you, well, you can't solo Sukiyomi Extreme either. Um, and honestly, mm-hmm. even if even though you can solo Seiryu and whatnot, you theoretically can, or you technically can now. It is, as somebody who's done it, it would not be my first means of jumping on an objective. Definitely a, an unsynced party finder with a few other people would still be my number one hopped on way. So even for mm-hmm. Susano, that's what I do. But for this, I'm thinking more like people who, like soloing turn nine is pretty easy, but there are people who just don't understand conceptually the timing of the burst so they don't die to the ice at the end. Um, yeah, you also just have some fights in like Alexander where people aren't super comfortable, even though there's again, it's on normal for this case, it's not on Savage. Um, there are some that yeah. suck, and then Omega's got a ton that absolutely suck. So, uh, yeah, those I, I think it's just a good thing. It also just means that there's less objectives coded in. So, I'm a fan, it's not that big a deal, but I'm a fan. Um, what I am a fan of also is Unreal coming back. Yay. Ultima got my tank LB strats all ready to go. But the mount is the troll mount. Shaggles. My boy. Big old Shaggles. I think I'm just gonna sell this one. I don't want you don't, it. You don't want Shaggles? No, I don't want Shaggles. You want Shaggles? I got so many better mounts. That's my boy. I got so many better mounts than Shaggles. He's just it's money. not about it's not about it's not about being better. It's Shaggles, though. No, this isn't Shaggles. This is Big Shaggles. Shaggles is tiny. Yeah, Shaggles grew up. No, he didn't. He, he's he's going to school. He's learning, experiencing things. No, he's not. He's, he's experiencing good. being a reward for 600 leaves from a fox. Is that what he's learned? A life mm-hmm. of servitude and no freedom. I will not stand for it. I will I will pawn him off to somebody else for money. <laughs> Terrible. Has to be done. Um not really I wouldn't really call this weird, but it's like okay. Uh visual effect for completing an entry for decisive log has uh changed. Um <sighs> man, mm-hmm. I remember back in my day when I did Vistas, all it said was you did it. And then you did nothing it. happened. <laughs> yeah, nothing happened. You didn't get like a little pop up, nothing. Now they get this like fancy little pop up and everything telling you the lore, the lore of the land. I used to always have to click the menu afterwards to get all the lore in the pictures. Mm-hmm. I, and also updating the actual log. So it's, it's not just a fucking like a shit ton of pages and you just have to know which page each expansion starts on. Yeah, which is weird. That's good. Yeah. And also new emote. Uh, this, which reminds me of the Eastern Greeting one. I think this is more like a like a, a, a fist punching into this and not like the Eastern Greeting one, mm-hmm. which is a lot like that. But I thought we had I'm still that. still waiting for them. Yeah, like, we have it in cutscenes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting on them to give us the uh, the the bar shaker emote that we see in, um, in places. Like, for some reason, we don't have that. Like, I want that. I want that so bad. I know you do, Sly. One day. Although I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll say one day. Why not? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Battle system member, no job changes until Monday. So please stay tuned for that discussion of salt. <laughs> ah, I don't even have to season my food on Monday. The salt will be provided. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, the following additions adjustments made to job gauges. So the Esprit gauge um, now is more, it pops more whenever you actually have at least 50. And uh, same with the Bard's mm-hmm. soul gauge, but I'm kind of annoyed. As somebody who plays Bard, why the fuck would you play the sound at 80 and 100? Just play the sound at 80. And I yeah. know at that yeah. point. 
Yeah. Because I don't want to hear it twice. That sound is annoying and obnoxious enough as it is. I hear it twice back to back. New dungeon. Still don't know what it is. No, I'm telling you. We, we know what it is. I'm telling you. It's the bounty. It's, yeah, it's the bounty. It's the, it's the, it's the ruins yeah. under the bounty. It's got to be. I refuse to accept any other answer. Uh, new EX, dot topic EX. Looking forward to I gotta it. do that 50 times, man. I'm not gonna win them out, so I just accept I need to do it 50 times. Good luck with that. Before I start PvPing at that. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta go fast. <laughs> uh, Ultima's Bane. Unreal. Looking forward to that. That's twice a week. Yep. Oh, here's the salt. I found the salt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, I need an old man outfit so I can do the rest of the bit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't wait, have wait, one. I don't have one. Okay, back in my American, day. American man day, whenever we did Titan, you fell and you fucking couldn't see shit. And we fucking liked it. Now they got this new shit where you fall and you get back up. What the fuck is this? Life alert? <laughs> I've fallen and I can get up. It was life alert. Now it's not life alert. Now you can get back up. Yeah, they're doing away with all the permanent fall off bosses yeah. and mechanics and whatnot. Even Amdapur. I, mm -hmm. I saw Amdapur and I was like, oh, right. Demon wall. Yeah. <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> Never reap even. I Yeah, I forgot about Never reap and Amdapur. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, this is long overdue. This I'm surprised they didn't do much earlier. <laughs> But you know what's funny? Last expansion, they spent all of the Unreals, not all of them, but two of them, talking about how they wanted to preserve the original by not doing this. <laughs> Only to decide to do this an expansion later. <laughs> not even like two patches later. Uh, but yeah, the Boomer Salt will run mm. rampant. It also means that when they finally do go to do the Warring Triad for Unreal, which they'll almost certainly do Sephiroth, um, it won't be permanent, which for the Party Finder's sake, oh, thank fucking God. Oh, Sephiroth's not going to be a fun Unreal. Say his name. I'm going to like it. No, you won't. I'm going to like it. No, you won't. I'm going to like it. I actually like Sephiroth. I like it too, but I don't, But the party finder makes me not like things. That's true. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how that actually ends up working out. Uh, and then also another dungeon, uh, Sorkai, also technically had a permanent fall. If you couldn't actually walk off the edge, but if you were standing on a destroyed platform... You were you were yeah. Dunzo, and uh, that's that's also Dunzo. Uh, they just made Cauterize lethal now, which is the dive bomb yeah. attack. Uh, normal mode pandemonium. People keep asking me, "Oh shit, did you see Savages being unlocked?" And I'm like, "No, it's not. No, the, no, it's not." The word Savage is not <laughs> there. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, and the blade is still weekly cap. This is all pretty normal. Um, then the cost for the weapon is reduced from seven to four. Blah blah blah. They do the same thing every time. What I was very pleased to see, Gunbreaker, Dancer, Reaper, and Sage weapons now available for from coffers that appear after completing Thornton's reign. Yeah, see? I don't even need to do fucking all of them. There you go. <laughs> you need to do it for the good version. All right. Um, I wonder if that also means there's crafted versions, because there are crafted Thornton weapons, I'm pretty sure. Maybe under new recipes. Mm. I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's crafted Thornton weapons. Yeah, I might want to go back and do this. Oh. Yeah. Make a, little, uh, make a little money. Um, I actually, so th for me, I'm obviously thinking of Ultimate. They obviously did this because they're planning on doing the the, uh, the Ultimate weapons are going to be Thornton's Rain weapons. Um, mm -hmm. And this is what I like to see them do. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of what they did for like T, where they were mm -hmm. like, oh, just grab like their tombstone weapon or shit like their level 60 tome weapon or something and just i was like come on man everybody else got their like stage one anima weapon pimped out or their like stage one you know re uh, relic pimped out back in ultima and meanwhile i got mm -hmm. these shitty little things with a, with a tiny glow on them this is what i like to see update add some stuff for the people who don't do ultimate some new crafting recipes some new glam options you know some cool stuff and then you build on those for the ultimate and everybody's happy but me in particular, because yeah. it's my name. A 
Aglaya has been added. Is that how that's pronounced? Aglaya? I haven't. I didn't look. Aglaya. Okay. Yeah. Aglaya. So myth of the realm. Yes. Myth of the realm. Yes. Yes. Uh, again, again, uh, people are really, really hype about it. So much so that Twitter, hell, even um, Todd and my raid group, well, a bunch of people on Twitter, you know, they're organizing. 24 man parties for this. Like, we don't get this. Uh, we haven't had this level of excitement for 24 man. I don't think ever. That's not true. I love Delubrum. Our last 24 man series, you know, Save the Queen series. Mm. I, I definitely, I enjoyed yeah. putting together parties for that. Yeah. It was, again, it's a shame that it took us until point three to get our 24 man series last expansion, but, you know, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, this I I'm I'm ecstatic. Uh, that'll be day one, obviously. Um, the uh, twine encoding can be uh, purchased from vendors with nuts and the Aglaia coin. Of course, uh, I, I've got I've got to store up a huge sack of nuts to buy a few. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think my yeah, sa I think I'm my full. sack is full actually right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just have to, I'll I'm just everything. Yeah, I'll just have to dump it as soon as the patch comes out. Just dump my nuts. Yeah. That'll be perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh Raid Finder, they cycle in the new stuff, cycle out the old stuff. Add echo for the old normals, yep. the old extremes, nothing too fancy. Um location of mm -hmm. enemies for some areas, those are just to clear room for quests that we're gonna be doing so that nothing gets in the way. And you know what? Yep. I forgot about my secret favorite thing that really doesn't matter for me because I don't do dungeons very often, but one of my favorite things in point one, four dungeons in the expert roulette instead of two or three. <laughs> I miss the days of big full expert roulettes with like five, six dungeons in them. So variety. I still won't do it because I don't need to like, but I just like it. I just like that it's there. Unfortunately, when point two rolls around, we'll go back. We'll go back to two dungeons. Yeah, it'll just be the most recent one, this one, which again we're assuming is the bounty, and then whatever the six point two dungeon is. But I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. <sighs> Mentor roulette, God, dude. I love this so much. Following changes made to duties in the main scenario, the duty of the Praetorium is no longer counted as complete. Players must recomplete this duty to unlock Mentor roulette. <laughs> All you crown wearers not deserving mentors, you must suffer one additional praetorium. Get it. And for anyone who is a good mentor, uh, shut the fuck up and do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Um, weird one. When challenging a duty with an unrestricted party, a vote to abandon the duty may now be initiated at any time. Yeah, I think there were some instances where if you actually left, you could get locked out. <laughs> it was weird. like if you were the first person to leave, even in an unrestricted, I think you could actually get a fucking 30 minute penalty. <laughs> so it was weird. I know that still happens if you queue in with a full party into like leveling roulette and you're the first person to leave, you do get a penalty. So I wonder if they'll eventually ever change that because it's still kind of weird. Um, they're adding Stone Sky um, Sea Dummies for various level ranges and on top of the new instance. I guess that's just so people can practice at specific level caps, so their rotation yeah. and everything. Yeah, that's fine. Probably won't get used much, but it's who cares? It's low effort. It's fucking a right. dummy. <laughs> it's a dummy that plays music for three minutes. It's like, I'm not going to lose my <laughs> mind over that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this next section's fun. A lot of adjustments. Oh, yeah. A lot of adjustments to 2.0 um, dungeons. Yeah, this is more than I thought they were going to do. Um, mm -hmm. Copper Bell, all the bosses are adjusted. I have to assume that's because the first two bosses are boring as fuck, and the third boss gets zerged down. So I wonder if they're going to make it so the third boss, there's actually some onus on killing the Gigas as they run past you to go to the other thing. And the other two, I just imagine they're going to make them less boring. Certain dungeon mechanics have also been adjusted. I wonder if that means... So did you, When was the last time you really did Copper Bell Sly? A couple of weeks back for... Um, roulette? For 
Yeah, wondrous. Oh, yeah. So Copperville is designed in this weird way where you actually don't need to kill 90% of the mobs in it. If you just keep running, they all de-aggro. Because they don't want, I guess that they didn't want them getting near the elevators because they thought maybe it would cause issues mm -hmm. or something. So you can, I literally just don't kill anything in Copperville until the very end, until between the second and third boss. You just run past it all. And so I wonder if that's what's being adjusted so that you actually have to kill the mobs and that, or whatever changes will make it so you are actually going to be killing those mobs. Or if it's because of trusts, like maybe the things with the fire sand will be gone. And that's it. They, they just do away with the fire sand mechanic or, or something of that capacity. Um, that wouldn't surprise mm -hmm. me either because I think with trusts, it's kind of like, do we really want to make them have to do this? Stop and pick all this shit up along the way. So that might be it. Uh, Total Rock, we've already seen how different the dungeon looks thanks to the live letter. Mm -hmm. And uh, Graphius being adjusted, I'm assuming that's just the like Venom pods on the outside because... Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I just assume that they don't want to keep those because there is the slowing field along the outside, which they said they're doing away with. So um, I have to imagine that might be the difference. Hawk, uh, Lady Amandine. I wonder if that's just less ads or something or, or less frenetic ads. Or maybe they're going to make it so we actually have to do the lamps at this point. Because right now everyone just ignores the lamps like after the first or second set and just says, fuck it. Yeah, I'm wondering what it could be. Jeez. Because yeah. a lot of these bosses that they're naming are bosses that people just don't respect at all in low-level content. Mm. But I imagine for the most part, they have to be adjusting them for trusts. Like, that has to be the number one thing that's that's motivating these. So I wonder if, like, on yeah. Lady Amandine, they did away with the lamps? Because I doubt they, des I doubt they um, properly programmed the duty support to go and do the lamps when you're alone. That's the big, I mean, that's honestly, that's what's driving all of this. That's why Icarus Iyer's probably changed because otherwise you'd be the only one who could do the, like all of the interactables. Everything with interactables essentially has been changed except for Kodos who's just boring. So I guess that's why they're doing that. Of course. Um, Going down the list, just looking at it. Cape Westman, obviously solo. Um, Praetorium. You know, we are, we, we, they talked about all the changes, uh, Ultima and Laha bread, not in there anymore. Uh, the ability to skip certain cutscenes added. Those have to be like travel cutscenes, like going from point to point or something like that, like going down an elevator, <laughs> not the big elevator, but like, you know, there's, there's a few like really tiny mm -hmm. ones that are just like doors opening and shit. Right. So. I'd have to imagine those would be on the list. But I mean, across, I mean, across everything, like Zamiel having its like dungeon route, I guess, uh, streamlined. So there's not all those side rooms, most likely. Um, Ayatar, the poison puddles, most likely, because the tank trusts probably won't move it. You know, they, they probably won't know to actually yeah. move anything. Um, the map layout. So again, probably no side paths. And Brave Flox, probably again, more direct. So it, it, they, uh, they did some pretty extensive work across the board to all this. Livia probably doesn't have the missile mechanic anymore we have to interact with the things or again the trusts are just better at doing it so i'm, I'm actually excited to go through all of these because there's just a are lot you? of changes yeah i love to i want to see what the differences are and it's content for me to make on youtube so of course i'm not gonna fucking complain yeah, yeah. i'm gonna new game plus this shit and i'm gonna just check out all the ins i will for a new game plus for cape and laha and then the rest yeah. i can just you know just do it with the duty support system. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, Ultima being separated, Cape Westman, La Habrea being separated. But I was not ready. Praetorium is still 150 poetics. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's still a decent bit longer than Castrum, but it's it, they, they brought everything down from 200 down to 100 for Castrum and 150 for Prey. Yeah. 150, yeah. But what's even f weirder than that for me, um, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit, is that the main scenario roulette is worth 50 more poetics than it was before. <laughs> and you could get po you could get <laughs> Ultima and just obliterate it, theoretically. You'd probably get shit EXP, but you would get a shit ton of poetics and a decent number of aphorism and astronomy. So uh, main scenario roulette for tomes is going to be pretty fucking worth it. But we know it's not. There's no way yeah. it's worth the same amount of experience. There's no chance. No, no. They're not going to change that. 
But yeah, it's looking um like I might be doing a little bit more uh main scenario just uh just to cap every week. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Which, doing Yeah. That's fine. If I can't if I can't find a hunt train, then yeah, might as well. Huh? Yeah, might as well, it's fine. Um, also, uh, display of target indicators for certain battle mechanics have been adjusted. Those are most likely split damage AoEs. Um, World of Darkness has a split damage AoE that's a lightning marker, for example. Circus Tower, Zonde, the dark puddles that have to be split. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are all split damage AoEs. Um, all of these fights have split damage AoEs that are not indicated as split damage AoEs. So it looks like they're finally updating some of the old markers to indicate to some degree what they might do. Not going too crazy, but doing the basics for each of them. For Tamtara, it would be the first boss. Which boss on Brave Fox has split damage AoEs? I think it's I think it's the last boss. But I know for certain the other three have them. So that is long overdue. Long, so yeah, definitely, long this overdue. is more... More for more as like a new player, just yeah. to kind of get them to honestly not even just new. Markers. You know how many people don't do these things for like a long, long time? They go back and then they just die. They get like World of Darkness. If I had a nickel for every time a player who is new or hasn't done it in a while gets the lightning marker and runs away, I'd be rich. I could just retire. Cause it's every single World of Darkness multiple times per per second boss it's like it just it just needed to be changed so it's nice to see that i i i didn't see any salty posts about that yet but you know i'm sure they'll be there somewhere yep can't fall off people don't die to bad markers what game am i even playing anymore madge oh this one's stupid okay <laughs> so after you wipe now, it's going to take an extra like second or two for the boss to the screen to go blank and for the boss to reset. They say mm -hmm. the reason is to better identify and understand the reasons behind a party KO. But as someone who's done raiding, we know why. But here's the thing. Even if we didn't, staring at eight dead bodies doesn't help me identify anything. Doesn't help. You know what? Like we in our raids, like we have a person. Usually it's our tank. Like, looks at what did I die from? Uh, you took like nine, nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine damage to so and so. That's why you died. Well, thanks, Todd. It's just anyway, it's not you. even just that. It's more the thing that killed you. Staring at eight dead bodies doesn't tell you that. It can, if you can see it real quick. But anyone who's really checking these things is somebody looking back at, like, a recording or a stream or something like that. Yeah, and he does that, too. <laughs> like, let me go look back at the... Let me, like, I got the video up. Let me go look back. Yeah. You didn't... You didn't pull your tether far enough. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, things like that. Like, it's either video or, like, we can look up what attack really got you. So. Yeah. That's It's just, like... There's there's a few fringe cases where it helps, but for the majority, it just means that my party finder deaths take two extra seconds. Every party finder pull yeah. now takes two seconds longer. Every time somebody didn't eat food, I now have two seconds longer to linger on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, that's that's awesome. all that's all that's really going to be achieved by it. So um, I I'm not opposed to it, but I don't think it achieves what they. Uh, what they want this i didn't i didn't understand so apparently these two mechanics were causing were uh, victims of illicit activity and ultimate for for t i'm gonna assume people were somehow abusing those to do seven man sales for carries like just to, so they could mm. instead of piloting somebody i'd imagine they were just seven manning potentially i i don't mm -hmm. keep up with it anymore dude the whole like i've just separated myself that shit annoys me to no end the whole sales thing. I mean, it's not even, in the, thank God it's just not in the party finder anymore, but like, I didn't even know this was a thing. So I don't know how they were doing it. I don't know if they were like disconnecting somebody or just standing in a certain spot. I have no idea, but cool. Good to see it. Uh, Castrum and Dalriata having their EXP buffed and then adding uh, lost finds cash near the start of Castrum and Dalriata. So you can actually do, your actions inside of those, uh, the large scale engagements. Good idea. This is fine, but really, Delibrum needs help. 
Delibrum is like a fucking ghost mine of just nobody doing it. And like, yeah, if you wait 15 minutes, it'll queue you in with Echo, but it's not, it's, they need to redo it. Mm. Yeah. Is, is, um, are people still doing, um, not the Lubrum, but, uh, the other one. What was the other one? God, I can't. Dalriata. Know. There's Dalriata, Castrum, and Delubrum. Delubrum is the standalone one, the instance, the 24 and 48 man. Savage. Yeah. yeah. Dalriata is the one in Zadnor, and Castrum is the one in the Southern Front. So which one? Yeah. Southern Front. Well, not, not Southern Front. Um, thinking. I'm thinking of the um I think you're thinking of the Lobra. Bal Oh Baldessian. no, BA is fine. Oh yeah, no. Nobody gets yeah, BA is fine. Nobody get, no, it's not that nobody gives a shit, but so nobody why, is why is so why is the Lubrum like having such Because a you order? have to queue yeah. in for the Lubrum like standalone and it doesn't do any like there's nothing to do it for. Or there is, but barely any reason. Like you have to go to the specific location. Your only real reason to do it is for a Shadowbringers relic. There's no EXP in there. There's no leveling. You can't really make any money in there. You won't make nearly as much as just leaving and going and doing like cluster farms or something. Or you end up waiting 15 minutes because you can't actually fill 24 people. And then you have some people who can do it, some people who can't do it. Maybe the echo is enough. Maybe it's not enough. It, it just, it hasn't aged well. It either needs to have like leveling added to it in some capacity. Like you can gain experience points or they need to readjust it um it's it, it yeah. just there's no reason they're trying to at least make reasons for people to do these but deliberate needs it way way more than than these yeah. do uh pvp <laughs> we don't even really need to talk about the pvp Yee. section but man the closer we get the more excited i am uh a few clearer things about the rules here uh, including like it's speeding up if you've already like crossed a certain like threshold. Like if if you've pushed it sixty percent and it gets pushed back, it's actually faster up to that sixty percent mark to keep the matches moving. Mm -hmm. It can't be moved for the first thirty seconds. We finally know all the individual rules of the individual maps, and so we have uh, all the information to really begin judging it a little bit more in depth. And uh, for me, I think the big takeaway for things we didn't know before is exactly how the fire and wind maps actually interact with the player um so with that information first of all on the wind map we have two things we have jump glyphs to get around the map more quickly uh it'll teleport you to a specific location on the field but more importantly we have the turbulence arena effect which will throw players uh. into the air randomly and then they have to you catch You know how we black love fucking tornadoes well it's not even the tornado slight it throws you into the air randomly without the tornado and then it leaves a tornado behind where you were thrown into the air that will then damage people and whatnot um on the way down you have to catch black chocobo feathers to prevent the fall damage from the knockup yeah so it sounds like biako but like you know you know less fake less of the like oh i'm not actually falling thing right yeah so I I think that map gets adjusted. I don't think people are going to like that, especially no. not in a competitive mm -hmm. environment. No. Don't add a mini game to my PvP. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think they might eventually take away the black chocobo feather thing, but just randomly spawn tornadoes. I think that's reasonable, um, but that's about it. The other map, on the other hand, I think is better done. It has the Bomberman explosions, and then when they explode, they actually leave behind um, limit gauge increases and damage buffs. So playing around dodging the explosions along with pushing the thing and then also trying to utilize the uh, the uh, bomb cores that get left behind. I think that's a far better mm. way of doing a, a varied map. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but, and both of these modes, I think, are okay in a casual. It's really only the competitive, I think, the wind mode will be less popular. Casual, I, I don't. I, th I still don't think people will like it, so I think it'll get changed, but I think it's more okay for that. I can't wait to see more maps. I want to see a water map, a lightning map. I want to see them. I hope we, I, yo, I hope we get the Thunder Plains, the Rumble Thunder Plains for the Thunder map. Oh, God. Come on. Come no. on. Come on. Thunder no. Plains PvP map? Why not? Come on. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want that? 
You don't want to dodge lightning bolts? 200 lightning bolts? This is this is the one this is the one takeaway you want from 10. Yes. It's not Blitzball, I'll tell you that much. This is way better PvP than Blitzball. <laughs> Imagine getting stun locked into a thunderbolt hitting you. Just come on. It's so worth it. It's it's so worth it. Uh, there's also medicine kits around. Those are simple. And then the rest of the stuff is stuff they pretty much explained in the uh, the live letters and whatnot. Crystal tier, yeah. the risers, and ranking up and de-ranking. Now, one little thing that gets uh, mentioned a little bit in passing is that there are trophy crystals can be exchanged at the Wolves Den Pier for, for a variety of items. It sounds like there are actually items to spend trophy crystals on right off the bat, which I'm assuming, based on our conversation from last week, Maybe materia, maybe some extra bonus rewards that are just with trophy crystals and not just stuff from the previous series, which we also know is how they plan on, like, you know, reducing the amount of fear of missing out that comes from this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's another little detail that's mentioned. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. But there is one negative I found in all What's this. That? What's that? The arena for the crystalline conflict just periodically rotates. It's not every time you queue in, you get thrown into one of the three. It's mm -hmm. there is one that is active at the moment and then time will pass and a different one will be active and time will pass and a different one. On one hand, I think that'll show them less people are queuing for the wind map, which is exactly what I think will happen. On the other hand, mm -hmm. I don't just stop rotating them. Just make it fucking random which of the three it picks. Yeah, kind of hate the I kind of hate the way they do um, front lines right now, which is yeah. Much that it's like, yeah, every day you get the uh, Nadam. Like one day you'll get the Nadam, and that's all you get for that like that day. Yeah, and I hate it. The next day you'll get Seal Seal Rock, and that's all you get for that day. And like, why? Well, I, I, like, it should just be battleground Q, and it's all of them. It's all the whatever is mm -hmm. available. Like when Rival Wings comes back, and and front lines, and, and just throws you into one of them. And not one of them per day. I mean, one of them. It just, it just like. Well, no, well, well, to be fair, I think I know. Like, in hindsight, I think I know why they do that. Um, there are achievements tied to. Well, for front lines, there are achievements tied to each of the modes. Yeah. So if somebody's going to. Uh, if somebody's going in for Seal Rock, they're probably going in just to get the wins for the achievement and whatever glam comes with that achievement. Um yeah, because I remember like seeing the seal rock glam. I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of want that. And then the next day it's an Dom. I'm like, fuck, I can't get my seal rock shit today. So, you know, I guess we're doing a Dom. Um, so maybe what I'm thinking is that. Well, which no, actually that doesn't make sense. No, it does because it does make sense because you can't no, get no, into no, them no, individually. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is for each of the three maps. Uh, for oh uh, yeah for no there's no way they do three yeah. different achievements they, no, they, yeah. yeah they wouldn't do that yeah like it doesn't, doesn't make sense yeah no i think the point you just yeah. made about the the big maps because they understand the big maps aren't popular enough to leave them all on their own anymore so that's why they do it in the first place because it means that if somebody wants to go for mm -hmm. a specific achievement they just have to know which day is which one yeah um whereas if you open them all up then you know it's not i i still think that doing it this I don't know it just rubs me the wrong way but it's just a result of years of neglect in PvP at the end of the day it comes down to it's mm -hmm. just because they just they never could get it right they can never generate the interest and crystal conflict has to be the turnaround point cuz if they don't succeed if this does not succeed they are there is not another PvP resurgence there's no way they are going to put forth and give it to nope. Give it to if it doesn't receive if it doesn't uh, succeed. Nope. Give it done. to expansion. I no. I nah. I say it's done. I say nah. they give up entirely. Nah. I'm not saying they should. I'm saying they will. I I feel so strongly about that after seeing how blasé they've been about PvP and like whenever it's not doing well, how they they just they just be quiet. They just stop supporting it altogether. They like, oh, you know, it's not really doing great. And then you just don't fucking hear anything for like a year on end. And then they try to do something. And if that doesn't do well, this happens again. And you could say, oh, they just keep going back to the drawing board. But I'm like, no, this is 
I think this is this is the last straw. If this doesn't do well, PvP is just they're gonna accept PvP just doesn't work in this game. They're not gonna delete it. This does okay, say like say it does well. Okay. And we're like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. We we like it. We're putting more maps in. Then what? Do they, you know, continue and piggyback off that and try to put in another mode? And then that doesn't succeed, and that's the final straw. No, no. I mean, no. Even, they, like, but if this does well. No, this this, is, this does well. If, if this does well, I mean, yeah, it, it opens it, it. It leaves it leaves PvP in a good place where we can kind of brainstorm new ideas. Uh, like, um, what was your long running idea? Capture the flag. Capture the flag. Um, yeah, I want the basics. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it le it leaves. It leaves it open for stuff like that. Here's the thing. If this does mm. well and the next mode doesn't, then they're going to compare the two and they'll still have one good mode. If this doesn't do well, they have no good modes. <laughs> and in fact, they have removed a mode for this patch that was actually mm. wildly unpopular. <laughs> so, and they're reworking that. So we're guaranteed to get a new version of Rival Wings in point two. Because they're rebalancing mm. the whole thing around all the job changes. So what I'm also hoping that means is they rebalance the number of people who it supports. I'd like to see a 10v10 or a 15v15 instead of the 24v24. I'd like to see them stick to small mid-size PvP and not do these 48, 72 man tussles anymore. And I think the I think you're almost on the right track. I don't think a new game mode anytime soon. I think more maps for Crystalline Conflict is top priority. I think by 6.3 we have one new map. For crystalline conflict either the water map or the lightning map or something like another elemental map and but mm -hmm. i think in the meantime every patch they're going to take away an old mode and redo it with their new ideology so that it more reflects what they're currently trying to achieve with pvp so rival wings i think is number one i think that um not in a dom i think shatter may come next after that they may go back and look at secure or shatter and then I, th mm -hmm. I think Nadam probably be the last one they touch. I think Nadam is the closest to like their modern philosophy, but I think they know they still probably slipped up in a few places on Nadam because it's seal. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it's seal rock, but worse. I genuinely I think Nadam is worse than than seal rock. So, um, but I think that's the approach: is make them so they're all small to mid size, keep the objectives roughly the same, but adjust the map and like available space. I'd also like to see them get away from the three team thing. I'd like to see all those modes down to two teams. It's just, it's so silly to have the three team things. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. But this yeah. is it. This, this expansion has to be the expansion that changes the narrative about PVP. It has to be the one that gets people to stop saying, oh yeah, no one really plays 14 for PVP or now nah, PVP in this game is not super good. There needs to be one redeeming factor that gets people interested and doesn't just convince people who like PvP to not play. That's what they're trying to do. And I think they need to, they need to succeed bad. That's why they're even adding the portraits and everything. Because that excites people to make their portrait and then to see it whenever they queue into like Crystalline Conflict. That alone excites people about the feature. And consistent rewards. Yeah, definitely consistent rewards. It's another big thing they need to work on. So we'll see how this pans out after point one. But I'm excited for PvP in point one. I'm optimistic for the first time in a long time about the changes that are. are coming. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, um, and then they have like new chat functions for it. To see them deleting all the feast ones. Thank God. That never made sense to me. Here's like nine or ten PvP actions. But here's 40 fucking chat commands. That are the only means of you. Where the fuck are we putting all this shit? <laughs> I, I, it's never Where? made sense to me ever. It's Where? like, wait, so we don't type to each other. You instead give us 40 buttons of like text commands to share in order to communicate. Bro, if somebody's, if somebody's tilted, they're just going to spam one of them over and over again anyway. Good job. Good job. Good, yeah. job. Good, job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. And nice job is still here. Nice job has uh, it's been adjusted, but it's still here. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> As if adding pre-made text commands was less toxic. Grab metal. Grab metal. Well, you don't get that one anymore. 
<laughs> or like after the first two deaths. Good match. Good match. Good match. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Uh, and then just more updates to like the UI and stuff. You know, reminder of the Garo mm -hmm. stuff coming back, which uh, is going to be very. That's going to get people in at least for a while. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm still curious. I want to see them rework rewards still more. I think Wolf's Marks still need a bit of help when it comes to as a currency. Or they need to do away with it and just make trophy crystals the only currency in all honesty, which mm. I uh, I think is fine. New items. We've seen these items before. The Excitatron items, the 24-man yep. raid items. Uh, you know, this the, they're removing the gender lock from a lot of things. I forgot the Rathalos stuff was all gender locked up till now. Yeah, um, that's going to be a mm. big one for a lot of people because a lot of male characters really want some of the female ones. A lot of female characters want some of the male ones. So good, yeah. good mix of stuff there. Um, upgrading crafted 580 to 590. I had actually kind of forgotten about this, to be honest. Like, just kind of slipped my mind. But that's making a return. Um, some animations being changed. Some more information being added to... Even when you think they can't do anything else to the crafting and gathering menus. <laughs> they always find a way. One thing about this, though. One thing about the um, the Troll Synthesis thing. Um, something that I've always wanted. Troll Synthesis is really good. I'm glad it's in. Um, but Troll Synthesis doesn't take into consideration... Uh, high quality items. So whenever you do a trial synthesis, it's always bare bones. You had to do it from the start. I would love for them to add in or program in the fact that like, hey, I'm using a high quality item. What can I let, what will my starting quality be? You know, stuff like that. Like I would love that, love that for them to add that in rather than just this change, which I guess it's fine. Yeah to see uh, require collectability for each, you know, yep. percentage. But yeah, let us see what we can, let's do a trial with high quality items. That's the next step. Or is it? Hopefully. Man, every, Hopefully. every patch that goes by and there's no ocean fishing update, I'm so glad. <laughs> Getting to some of the fishing stuff here. I mean, it's all, it's just like, you know, new animations, new fish, stuff like that, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, but man, I was so glad. I just don't, don't, don't do no more titles, please. Just no more. Don't do another one, please. I want to stay world class troller forever. Glamour plate, you know, five more and being able to use in sanctuary. We knew that desynthesis, updated level, new mount, new chocobo barding, new minions, you know, new fashion accessories, new, new ways to hold your fashion accessories. New, the change pose emote being added in for that, as we saw during the live letter. And we get down to the system mm -hmm. changes, which is where you, there's normally a few surprises here or there, quality of life-wise, and they usually get tucked inside yeah. of the system section. Um, realistically, I think most of this stuff, they already went over all the changes to the market board, for example. Um, you know, ventures being cycled out and it being updated based on some of the new market changes, you know, stuff being added to the old tank achievements and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm going to lie. I'm insulted by one quality of life feature here, though. Insulted. What's that? What's In that? order to more easily distinguish between completed and unfinished achievements, the background color of unfinished achievements has been adjusted. Bro, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Like, oh. I, it's a little darker. I guess it's it's like oh, I like I, I read that and I was like, oh, that's really good because I can't see the difference. So thank goodness they're finally doing that. And then I fucking scroll the thing to the left and I'm like, so it's like marginally darker. I'm not going to be able to tell that when I'm just playing the game. I'm not going to have to. And who knows? Because it not only is the background marginally darker, but the fucking sky behind it is marginally darker. Like, how do I know they weren't just, it wasn't just a darker screen they took the fucking picture on. Not good enough. That's it. It's not good enough. Mm. Adventure plate. We went over this a lot last week. Portraits. We went over that a lot last week. There's nothing really new here. It's just like English yeah. blow ups of all the features and the, the menus and stuff that we saw before. So all that's still super good. A lot of people are going to really dig this and collecting the new plates and frames and things along those lines. You know, people love to collect stuff. Even being able to link it with a gear set, 
which is nice. You can change your portrait with your gear set. Um, dream fitting again, just trying on store stuff at your in room at the bed. Uh, this is a big one. An option to automatically target enemies when executing target based attacks. So that means if you don't have a target and your weapon skill needs a target or your spell needs a target, it will acquire a target for you. So you can actually use said ability if you do not have one. And that is incredibly welcome. Because sometimes I uh, I do not like this game's tab target and or click to target. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now, I have a question, Sly. Will this fix the problem of being inside of a boss's hitbox that's very large and it becoming targetable again, but you not being able to fucking click it or tab it or anything? Will it solve that? So coming away from transitions. And then yeah, but you're like inside of a big ass hitbox, and it's just like, no, yeah. I don't know. What what are you trying to target? I can't tell. I don't I don't know. I don't see anything. And we're we're just we're just pressing tab until we can fucking target something. You're trying to like, like move your camera angle so it actually accepts that you're tab targeting something. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. <sighs> Will it fix that slide? Do you have any faith? I don't know if I do. <laughs> Probably not. I want to believe those lines. I want to believe. Team no believe. No, Team I no want believe. it though. I want mm -hmm. to. That hurts so many people to hear that experience because so many people know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Um, They've decided to stop griefing us with the accompaniment quests. By making it so they do not become separated from us anymore as long as we do not leave the zone. And it even shows you the locations of conversation points instead of making you wonder, oh, is that where I'm supposed to go? Or is that just a conversation point? So mildly yeah, I was, less like, I was wondering about that. Yeah. I was wondering about that because like I'm like in, in some of these, like am I missing a, you know, small bit of lore by just going to going to the uh, uh, objective, or is there anything else that can, that I can go see? You know, did I miss out on something? Yes, yeah. probably, probably did. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, no matter what you do, even if you mount up, even if you use an Ethernet or, or swimming, even if you don't see them, they're still programmed as accompanying you. But they'll return as soon as you like yeah. get off the mount or anything in that capacity. So, much less troublesome. Uh, display of gear set names being separated from the item level. So now you won't run into a situation like me where I changed the name once. And now I I would need to make a new gear set that has the item level back on it. Then move it through the list and reorganize it. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. So I'll just change mm -hmm. it manually. That won't be a problem anymore. Uh, currencies, buy color gemstones and trophy crystals added to the currency window. And now you can also customize what currencies show. Uh, the Yeah, what currency setting by selecting what gear. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm a big fan. I am most certainly a big fan. Uh, let's see. Amount of gill expended no longer shown in the log window. System notifications for market sales no longer. That's actually hilarious. How many times? Be in the middle of the Ensinger cutscene. All you shall know is despair. Agent 47 has returned from a retainer bench. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle. Or like somebody with like a submarine name like... I like I don't know this I I don't have any clever names off the top of my head for submarines or like the Sly's Sly's sex sub returns from from its exploratory voyage. How how did you get there? I was out of everything. I was looking for alliteration. Autumn, how? Think of the alliteration though, Sly. We're playing Final Fantasy. Alliteration is the first thing. By the way, your sub is back from its exploratory voyage, Sly. The SS Dickeroni. There we go. God, this is awful. Holy shit. But no more of that popping up oh. in the middle of your cutscenes, essentially. Which it's taken way too long to do that. It's a good band name. It really is a good band name. Sly Sex Sub. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. It's a good jazz band. There we go. <laughs> See, he agrees. Um, renewal period for mentor certification has ended. So if you were that lazy that you didn't want to keep your fucking crown, good. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. It reflects my opinions and my opinions only, but most people agree with me. So it's fine. 
Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mentor system. Uh, all the Heavens were dungeons added to explore mode, as well as the n- newest Yay. one. Mm-hmm. Yay. <laughs> hey, Sly, the duties that can be recorded have changed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Um, Mother Crystal, Crystal, the final day. Uh, and only the four Crystal. circle savage. Yeah. I hate the duty record. Just stop putting in the patch. Really Just update it and take it out of the patch notes. We don't even need to know. Like we really don't. Yeah, we. At this point, like really, at this point, I would just not do it. I agree altogether. Just scrap it because it's for. Really, it's for. Yeah, you don't even have an answer of what it's for because you don't even know because it just no, doesn't no, no, fucking have a point. Thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to defend this so No, bad. you don't. I, I want to, but the issue is... It sucks. It's so fucking limited. <laughs> it's it's so limited. Why do it for specific fucking fights? Mother Crystal, understand. Great. Good. Why not the other one? Yeah. Why not? Sly, the I got final nothing. Day, yes. Yes. Great. You know what's funny? The first but, one is in the before, but not in the after. <laughs> the dark inside is right. there, but they moved, They decided that one needed to go. But then you get to the four circle. Okay, fine. Great. Why can't we see the other circles? And nobody wants to use it anyway. It's just it's not good. It's just not good. It's the bottom line. Like, I'm all for, I'm all for a, like, replay mode. Me too. To kind of like if it if it was you know well done, and you can you know see certain things pause. I want them to know. scrap this whole thing and just do a sixty second instant replay mode that you can access inside of instances, and that's it. So that you don't need to pull up Twitch streams or fucking recordings or anything. Just show me a sixty second instant replay mode. So I can look. You don't need to extend 60. any of this other shit. So what you're saying, so what you're saying is you're able to select the part of the part of the um the pull that you just did. Yes. And just take 60 seconds from it. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll be I'll be down for that. I'll be down for I'd that. I'd take that over mm-hmm. anything they're doing with like extending the time before the screen goes black or or anything. I just I'll take anything over the duty recorder, please. Mm. It's just so depressing. As a content creator who was unbelievably hyped for it, and I've I've never been more let down or hurt than in the implementation of the duty recorder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, there's another one. You don't pay my sub. That's another good one to get in the way of a cutscene. That won't happen anymore. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah. Um, one little thing that's not that big, but I really like it. Um, when you're in the duty finder, you actually have the option to register with duty support or trust. So you don't have to like remember to go to the trust menu every time. You can choose to do it mm-hmm. through the duty finder, and then it will take you to the requisite menu. So fan of that yeah. being added. And then the vice versa is also there. If you open the trust menu, it also comes with the uh, the same thing with duty support and duty finder. So all those different things right there. Uh, the check mark being added for items you already own, especially on the market board. So that's a good thing. If you're on another world for 30 or more days, then you go home. <laughs> if you log off, <laughs> if you're logged off on another world for over uh. a month, you go home. So that's fine. Um, a fucking draw <laughs> distance option for console. <laughs> I was surprised to see that after all this time because. Uh, Great. Yeah. Um, getting rid of some of the old stuff for like the target tab since they're adding in those new settings. So like they'll have different control settings for character configuration now for that stuff they showed us earlier. Um, Mac finally has access to wireless controllers. You know, technology has advanced so much in recent years that, um, you know, Mac players can, can just, they can see the light of what it means to be able to use a dual sense or Xbox controller only and literally nothing else. Good job. Hmm. So new emotes slash draw slash seed determined adventure plate portrait. But my favorite slash content. 
because we know nobody's gonna do this for just slash content. That's content, as far as I'm concerned. Y'all ready to do some content? Content? I'm here for that. Let's go. Slash content. Everybody type slash content and maybe we'll have something to do during the lull. Seems like a good plan. Yeah. There you go. Gotta get that content. Uh, and then the rest of this stuff is normal, you know. Auto translate for yeah. console, PC, trophies, music, sound effects, spatial audio updates, uh, equalizer mode. And uh, so this is the one they kind of sneak in at the end. Accounts with entry subscriptions can now create up to eight characters per world. Um, prior entry subscriptions can make one character per world up to a maximum of eight characters across the whole account. They're taking away the one per world. You can still only make eight characters. You can just make as many of them in as many locations as you want. So still a reasonable yeah. price tag and a little bit more flexible. So just adding a bit of value for entry level players who want more than one character. Good, 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 good. And the rest of the stuff for the patch is not here. <laughs> Because it's not in this patch. One of the one of the most meatiest patches, but again, you know, spread out. Spread so. out a little bit. Uh, spread. I gotta get a good spread. There you go. And they got a good spread. And yeah, that's the patch notes, Sly. So Sly, one important thing. So Monday. Well, okay. no, no, one important thing. Um. Mel says you're a bitch. There. I told you I'd say it in the middle of the show at some point. At the the blunt end of the show. Yeah, well, I mean, but I included it. You know, she uh -huh. says, just admit you like Mario Party. And uh, stop lying. I, I will not. I will Don't not. Know. She's going to keep calling you a bitch. It's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We'll yeah. see. We'll see about that. A little bitch. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. She She asked me to put emphasis on that. I did forget. Okay. I'm just I'm just relaying her information to you. Yep. It's okay. We'll get Trivial Pursuit. It'll be fine. Trivial Pursuit, Jackbox. We'll get it. It'll be fine. But yeah, until Monday. No uh no class changes till then. And yep. then I'll have content again. Give me content. Good old content. Good old content. Then give me yeah, ultimate boy. so I can do even more. Content. Content. The real question is Sly. And this is a very real question. Okay. Are you competing mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. ranked Crystal Conflict in 6.1? You know, you know, I'm I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling it. Feeling? I'm feeling it. I think I'm feeling it too. Yeah. I think I'm feeling it. I'm giving it a try. Just don't don't ruin don't ruin it. Just please, whatever you do, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. I gotta at least try. Square Enix, please. Yeah. Listen, this again. This is us giving them the chance that they want. <laughs> they want us to mm -hmm. give them the chance. This is me giving giving we them are the doing chance. That. Yeah. So I'll do. We are doing. I'll do at least, and it's only like eight to ten weeks for the season anyway. So it'll make the first season kind of tough for me, but the second season in the mid, like in the midway, probably at like end of May or mm. beginning of June or something, that'll, that'll probably be a better play, place for me to start, but I'll try beforehand. Hopefully the cues are good. Oh, but I just can't wait. Please Sly inject it into my veins. <laughs> okay. And with that, I think we're done with the show, Sly. Yeah. I told you 15 minutes in and out. In and out. Yeah, only I, I added 60, 70 minutes. That's fine. So with that, yeah. let's sign off and uh, get to our Friday nights, Sly. Probably partying yeah. for you and definitely partying for me. Mario partying. Yeah, today. Uh, yeah but you're not coming, I know. But so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sly, thank you for, of course, joining me for this week's show. Why don't you tell everyone what you're up to this fine weekend ahead of patch 6.1? Well, you can find me on twitch.tv slash sly, aka Gray Fox, Twitter at Sly the Fox. Um, yesterday, I uh, did a uh, Chinatown Detective Agency uh, new indie, came out really good. Um, doing two other playthroughs because it, there are two other routes um, this upcoming week. Um, tomorrow, Station WS, well, 
tomorrow, tonight, Allure, of yeah. course, going to Allure tonight. Um, doing finishing Studium too, because I never finished that. Um, one thing we never really talked about in this quick side note, I kind of messaged you about this before, but community is split on whether we are getting crafted, crafter and gatherer, left side or right side, and we don't know. So I'm kind of getting ready for either or just in case. So we'll see uh, today. Um, tonight, Allure, tomorrow, Station WSLY. Grooving you through the 70s and 80s. Oh, wait, we're doing... And see, the, the name Throwback Party is kind of a misnomer because I'm 70s and 80s, but we're doing a 90s, 2000s party tomorrow on Primal, on Behemoth. Uh, information right there in the chat at that tweet. Or you can go to stationwsoy.com, uh, the, the main hub for Station WSOI. So check those out uh, if you're on Primal. You know, again, 90s, 2000s party. Bring your best 90s, 2000s glam. Get ready to group through the 90s and 2000s of Japan. You know, y'all take you back to your childhood a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, Sunday raid. Uh, Got to check out the new patch on GT7 because now we can finally make money. Woo. Uh, and then, you know, content on Tuesday. Content. Content. Expecting the content. Give me that content. So, that so uh, either way, hopefully you'll see. Hopefully you'll see it tomorrow night, or you just see it in general. Yeah. Uh, perhaps. Uh, what's what's what you got going on? I have just been trying to keep myself busy the last month. I played through Elden Ring like six fucking times. Probably do one more. Yeah, here. Before all <laughs> said and done. I'm trying to do fist weapons right. next. Strength strength build. Strength build fist weapons. Gonna be anime as fuck. Um, Koromon I played this last week. Indie Monster Tamer. It's pretty good. Ending was mm. not good. It was very brief, very, very abrupt ending, but otherwise, you did it. Good. <laughs> Literally, that's what it does. You beat the boss. You're like, oh, okay, uh, this is the next boss. You beat the boss. You're like, oh, that was the last boss. Oh, and, it says, God, and then it says, thanks it. for playing. And I'm like, you did it. Woo! That's that was the end. Oh, okay. It's okay. quite literally right. what happens. Congratulations. Why it wasn't really that. Please don't say it was that. No, it says thanks for playing, and then it's over. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, out of nowhere. It seriously does that. Uh, spoilers. But anyway, um, you won't know when it happens. What the fuck will you know? You beat the Coromon. Uh, yeah, so this weekend, one more. Doing YouTube stuff again. Keeping myself relatively busy with that. I have a game of Mario Party tonight. And then immediately after a game of Mario Party, I have uh, DSR prep. I think we're just doing Thornton and Nidhogg. I had forgotten mm. that was tonight. I thought that was tomorrow night. But fortunately, my schedule is still perfectly okay with being able to squeeze that in. I saw Whoops' tweet. That's why I was looking at my phone while you're doing your outro. Because I was I looked at Twitter and Whoops said, Yeah, we got DSR prep tonight with oversleepers. And I'm like. They they said Friday. Oh, right, because it's Saturday in New Zealand. They said mm. Saturday, but it's sat oh yeah. <laughs> So, made that mistake, but that's still on. So, it's going to be a busy night. I'll have a few more hours of stream tonight from, like, 6 to, like, 10 p.m. Pacific. So, that'll be good. But anyway, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you to our sponsor, Steel Series. Uh, Factor, not the sponsor, but I chose to shout them out anyway. And again, if you want to support the stream, exclamation mark, Factor, Chef Prepared Meals delivered right to your home. Subsidiary of HelloFresh. So, if you like them but you don't want to cook, this is for people who like HelloFresh but don't want to cook because it's like, it's good <laughs> shit. It's good food. You know, I've the shrimp, get the shrimp. I'm telling you get, and get the chili Mac and cheese. Those are the ones get those. Those are the best ones. Mm. Those are my favorites. Any of the shrimp, shrimp scampi though. Go with that one. Um, and thank you to our sponsors over on Patreon for supporting because they don't have to, but they choose to with that. I need to take a nap this afternoon before, <laughs> before stream tonight. So we're going to go into a short post show and then I'll see you all later. And Sly will see you at Allure. One of the two. Yeah. yeah. Sound good? Okay. And with that, thank you for watching. And we will see you next week for our first impressions on Patch 6.1. Thank you. And until then, have a good one. Bye-bye. See you next week.